After creating formulas, there will be times when you effectively don't want to keep the formula in a cell. You want to keep the actual result. Now, having many, many formulas in a particular range or in a worksheet sometimes does take up not only more space, but also requires some time because of recalculation every time you make worksheet changes. So let's imagine the example here in column H, about 600 names or so, and we've got formulas calculating new salary. Perhaps you've reached that time when you want to say that you'd like to have these salaries replace the ones that are the origin over in column F. You may, on the other hand, want to keep these new salaries here, perhaps relabel the column headings. But there are times when you would be saying, like here, let's not have these formulas here. Let's just keep the results. The standard way to handle this is a somewhat cumbersome technique of copying these values and then using a paste, special values, and so on. Let's make this really fast. Now, two different approaches here. If we want this data here to replace the data in column F, we effectively would select these values. So how can you do that somewhat quickly? By simply clicking on the top cell, hold down the shift key and double click the bottom edge. Now that highlights the entire set of data. If you hit control period, this will move the active cell to the top of the range. We can see what's happened there. They've all been selected. You can certainly do that by dragging as well. And it will stop when you use this technique once you get to the bottom of the column. Rather than going through the multi-step copy-paste special, with the right mouse button, drag this information on top of the old data. That's over in column F. With the right mouse button, drag any edge. As soon as we get to the destination, you can let go and Copy here as values only. Keep an eye on, say, the top salary, the 59246. We're now about to see that over in cell F2. It is an H2. It's going to move over into F2. Now, meanwhile, we've got some new salaries here that are irrelevant, but here is the value that had been displayed in H2. It was actually a formula. Now it's over here as a value. So, in effect, we took those new salaries and replace the old salaries right here. This information we wouldn't need anymore. Perhaps get rid of the entire column if that seems appropriate. But again, this information right here is not relevant, but we quickly were able to copy this information over here and throw away the formulas at the same time. Now, there's a similar situation. You might use this over in column N. You see order dates and shipping dates. In simple formulas here, subtracting the two to figure out the time elapsed. Perhaps it is the time when you say you no longer need the formulas here. A lot of these you could have done in your head anyway, but they're formulas. We simply want to turn these into their values. Now, in this situation, we don't really want to put them into another column. We want them to stay right here. And so it might seem a little bit strange, but what you would want to do here is essentially drag this information into another location and then right back on top of the current data. And it might be faster here to drag the top edge, but it can be any edge. And once again, with the right mouse button. Remember, every cell here that's highlighted is a formula. It subtracts the two dates from the left. So by highlighting the data and dragging any edge with the right mouse button away from the data, I'm going up here and then back down on top of it, let go of the mouse, copy here as values only. This is not a formula anymore. It's the value 2 and the value 4. And you can verify that by seeing this in the formula bar. So there are numerous situations when you have copied information, you've cleaned up information, you've got formulas, and in effect, you want to say, I don't want these formulas anymore. I just want to keep the results. So the techniques we've seen here allow us to do this quickly and easily. And I want to show you one more variation on this. You can do this with the toolbar as well. So let me do an undo. And this isn't quite as fast as the dragging method, but it has its merits as well. With the data highlighted here, and these being formulas again, on the Home tab, you can click the Copy button, and then jump over to the Paste arrow and choose Formulas. Now, that's pretty fast, too. And to get rid of those marquee lights, simply hit Escape. Different methods of quickly turning formulas into values.